Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. I can already see everybody in the chats. I am just taking in all of your beautiful energies right now. And I am so excited to create magic with all of you powerful manifestors. So welcome to three crystal practices to amplify your abundance. So how is everybody feeling today? Let me know in the chat and let me know if you have crystals with you. So first, I would love for you to introduce yourself, let me know what your level of experience is like with crystal magic, actually working with the energies of the crystals. Just pop it in the chat, zero for maybe you've never touched a crystal before, five to you work with it daily. You have crystals everywhere and you uh, do spells with them. Let me know in the chats now right? And it's okay if you are a beginner or if you have done magic or not. Uh, everything that you're going to be learning today and also in my book uh, is for everyone. Laura, I am a total beginner. So excited. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jen. Yay. 10, 10 plus. Jen is like 100. Okay. So perfect. Wherever you are now, you are in the perfect place. And my intention is that you will learn something new today that can change your life right? Lots of collected, not sure what to do with them. Perfect. I love that. I love that. So I know that because you're watching this today, live or replay, that you are ready to go deep with me on all of the abundance, manifesting, and crystal magic. So now I am just going to share a little bit about myself, introduce myself, so you understand why I'm sharing the things with you today on manifestation, on crystals, on magic, and it, why it's really, really going to work, right? So I'm Pamela, the author of Enchanted Crystal Magic with Llewellyn, Witchling Academy Tarot, and Tarot of the Owls is actually coming out March 2023. And I am also the creator of Money Magic Manifest, which is my signature manifestation program. I am the founder of Akashic Flow Certification, and I am a business wealth and manifesting coach. So I, with the help of crystals and my manifestation method, I was able to quit my four jobs. I was hustling to build a multiple six-figure online business, plus having a publishing career, helping my clients discover their highest potential and inner magic so that they have been able to manifest their dream homes, all expense paid first class trips, uh, 10,000 revenue months, and so much more. So I know that this can totally happen for you if it happened for them right? So how many of you would love to claim some of that magic and manifest abundance now? Put a yes in the comments and let me know that you are ready. So today, I want to share a couple of crystal abundance uh, practices with you that will immediately shift your energy into being able to receive more money, more magic, and more opportunities. So crystals are powerful tools to use for spells and manifesting, and I will be giving you a lot of information today so you can take notes pay attention, or if, you know, if I talk too fast, but I only have 30 minutes today, you can watch the replay because something in this training today can totally shift your life and bring in miracles if you choose for it to. So again, feel free to watch the replay or you can DM me on Instagram later at Pamela Unicorn if you have any questions, okay? And I'm hoping at the end, when I share the third practice, we can create our spell together. Ooh, I just put alfalfa all over me. We can create our spells together. We're gonna create a spell. So I want you to have something that you want to manifest today that will bring abundance into your life, something really specific, not just, I want freedom, I want more money, I want abundance. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Jen. Jen is always on it. Yeah. So I want you to I want you to think of something um, that you specifically want in your life, right? How much ex the exact amount of money you want in your bank account, the exact amount of money that you want to call in, or maybe the amount of clients that you want to call in, or maybe that book deal or deck deal, whatever it is, or maybe your dream home vacation. I want you to have specifics, okay? 
So before I share these crystal practices, it's super important for me to share a few rules of manifesting. So number one, it's not just about the crystals, the candles, or saying your affirmations. These are not the things that makes it work, okay? What makes magic work and your manifestations to come true are what you focus on. It's your energy and your intention. So what you give attention to subconsciously or consciously is what is going to be created in for your life, right? The key is to be aware of the thoughts running in your head. And if you don't like them, change them until you believe that it is real. It's really that easy. You have to think, be, feel, and act as that person who already has manifested that desire. So I call her my next, uh, my highest level self, right? Or your 2.0 self. If you can do so every single day, you will speed up your manifestation process. This is how you quantum shift. Um, Debbie asked, can I call in a job for my husband? I would call in the money that maybe you would love for both of you to have in your bank account. Maybe not something directly for him because he isn't creating the manifestation. If he wants to join in later, and do the spell with us, then definitely you can have two, two intentions there. But maybe how much, so if he were to have a job, how much monthly income would be perfect for you? And I would go a little bit higher, a little bit stretchy. So if it doesn't hit that, it might fall on something else and you still be happy from it. Yeah. Awesome. Let me know, Debbie, if that helped you. So number two is there is no wrong way of doing magic. I'm just going to share with you today and teach you some of the things that I found throughout my practice, my spiritual practice, my magical practice, and what I had in my book, what I wrote in my book. Um, and if you don't feel that it's for you, if you want to change anything, if you want to add anything then go for it because it, it might be your energy works better with a certain crystal. Your energy might work with a certain herb. So change it up if you desire, right? If I share a crystal for wealth and prosperity, but another one works for you, then go ahead and use that. It's all about following your intuition. I used to be a dealer at the casino in Las Vegas, and one of my regulars, she gambles really big, and she was like, hey, I just want to go play poker in a poker tournament. She wanted to try it out. She's like, do you have a crystal for me? I'm just like, yeah, let me go. So I keep crystals in my bag. So I went on break, came back up, and I had a black tourmaline for her. Now, it's not a prosperity crystal, right? It's not like citrine or pyrite, but that's what she, that's what I got that she needed to go into this poker tournament to win because it, it she needed something to ground her in and to feel confident. So that worked for her. I think she got second place and she never really played poker before. So go with your intuition. All right. So number three is if you haven't worked with magic or haven't been, been able to manifest the things that you desire, I just want to let you know that that's normal. It's totally not your fault. Right. Even, you know, even though our life is what we create, our reality is all of the thoughts and actions that we did in the past to create this present. It doesn't mean anything about you right now right? We all showed up here being our best self with the knowledge, experiences, and teachings that we received. So if you aren't living the life that you desire or that you want, it's not because you need to heal anything. It's not because you're broken. It's There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing to be fixed, right? Even though I use the word healing in my teachings, it just really means letting go of what you what no longer serves you, and expanding and focusing on what we want, okay? So that's all healing really is. It's releasing what doesn't support you on your journey and claiming what does, getting back into remembering that you are this powerful cosmic being and you are magical and you already have all of the magic and abundance and it is totally your birthright. 
okay? So if you haven't been able to manifest abundance, that's just because your manifestation process hasn't been figured out yet. You weren't taught, right? Who was taught manifesting in elementary or even middle school and high school? Well, I, I wasn't, right? Not in school. Everyone is unique. So we all have a unique manifestation blueprint. So in, in my manifestation course, I actually teach my clients how to discover their process, their own unique process, so that they can consistently manifest what they want. If you never learned how to manifest properly, then how can you do it, right? So today, the three practices, and I'll, I'll throw in a couple of uh, manifestation techniques that is going to help you level up your practice. All right, so let me know if you're still with me so far. If you have any questions, go ahead and pop it um, in the comments. Yes, so crystal practice number one. And let me know, hi Lisa, let me know if any of you already do this. So keeping crystals with you at all time, and my favorite thing to do is, uh, my and my clients, is to place a crystal in our bra. Right? If you don't have a bra, maybe you want to wear jewelry. You can have a ring, you can have earrings, necklace, right? Because throughout, you want the energy of the crystals to stay with you throughout the day. And what I believe, and this is just my belief, is that having the, oh, it's 11, 11, make a wish. Having the crystals on you that touches you right? It is what is, is going to amplify everything. It's going to amplify the energy. They naturally work with our energy. Having it in your pocket or in your bag is just as good. Totally up to you, but I like it touching me. Jamie says, boo, rocks, roll. Yes. <laughs> and my boob, Raina says, my boob is full of rocks. And you can, yeah, you can have more than one. I mean, how many can you fit? I suggest to choose smooth, tumbled, smaller stones, like a green adventuring or tiger's eye. This is still a little bit big. It's my favorite. You can have more than one and just be careful when you are undressing throughout, like at night when you're showering, because sometimes you'll like take off your clothes and then all of your crystals goes on the ground. And if you have tile, it cracks, right? And it's okay if it cracks, just throw it in your yard, bury it, put it back into mother nature. That just means you are done working with it. Okay, crystal practice number two. Um, ameth place an amethyst. Oh, I don't I have an oh I have an amethyst. No, I don't have an I should have had an amethyst. Okay, pretend this is an amethyst. Have an amethyst to your third eye and say, My sight is open to see all the abundant opportunities and possibilities before me today. And so it is. My sight is open to see all the abundant opportunities and possibilities before me today, and so it is. And, I, and if you wanna go deeper than that, you can imagine your perfect day because your mind does not know the difference between a memory and something real that has happened versus your visualization and imagination. That is why visualizations and mindset practices are so powerful, right? In my program, working with the mental realm is one of the first magical aspects that we learn about, right? Mindset is very powerful, but it's not the only thing. Yes. And this is all about choice. Again, we come back to choice, making the decision to be that person, making the decision to have opportunities come into your life, choosing to have miracles and asking for it to be shown to you now. Not just maybe it'll come, but really choosing for it to appear, okay? Having choice. All right, now your uh, third crystal practice, which actually we're gonna do together, is we're going to be creating a crystal spell jar, crystal money spell jar. So first, have your intention. Again, remember, it's not just I want to be abundant, I want to be rich, I want to be, I want to be free. It has it's something super specific, and say, say it as if it has already happened. So what I like to say is. I am so grateful and happy that I already have $20,000 on my bank account, right? So pick a goal that is a little bit stretchy 
so that, ooh, okay, I don't know, I might be able to hit that, but not so big that you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't, I don't think I'll be able to hit that because we still have to believe that we can hit that goal. So if you, so let's just say someone's trying to go for $100,000, but they haven't even made $10,000 yet, they might want to scale that down. Maybe you want to go for $30,000, right? And gratitude, adding that gratitude, I am so grateful and happy. It's, it's the fuel for your manifestation. It's like the gas in your car. And that's why everybody teaches about gratitude because it's that powerful. And the exact words I'm giving you and this process is actually what I've learned from multiple, not just one, but from multiple seven to eight figure entrepreneurs and coaches, right? I am so grateful and happy, powered up with the gratitude, that I already have. So I'm saying this as if it has already happened and that it happened a long time ago, right? Getting comfortable with it, right? So when we are like, oh, something is new, that's when our brain kind of like fights us for it. It's like, no, I don't want to go there. It's uncomfortable. We don't know what's going to happen. Our ego is like, but if we make that money, we might die because it's new, right? That's just what our ego is programmed to think because it keeps us safe. But when we has, have this visualization, when we say that it has already happened, then we're kind of like reprogramming our mind and letting our brain know that it is okay. Okay, so let me know if that makes sense for you. Give me a yes, and we're going to start our spell. So have that intention, write your intention, and you can share it in the chat if you want. It can, you can claim it, you can share it, you can send it to the universe through the chat. This is what I, I call um, Wi-Fi Mancy. <laughs> I love, I love working with, um, I love working with comments and posts. Like usually in my groups, people share their manifestations because when other people sees it, when other people reads it, it, it actually empowers your manifestation. And I know that everybody in this magical group watching this and in Llewellyn Con is so supportive of each other and we're just powerful manifestors. All right. So to create a spells jar, you will need a jar with a lid on it. So I actually just got this from a thrift store yesterday <laughs> and I cleansed it with uh, Florida water. All right. So gather your magical tools um, that you need for your spells jar. Of course, crystals, some herbs. I'm going to put tarot cards in this and a green candle. So I was going to keep this very simple with like three or four items. But as I was gathering the items this morning for our spell, it wanted it wanted us to like put all of these things in. So now I have like a lot of items. Know that for your own crystal money jar, you don't need to put all of this in. You can if you want to. Most of these herbs you can find at the store, at the, at the grocery store, okay? All right, so we're gonna start. I think, okay, so have your intention as we are putting it in. I want you to just really focus on your intention. So our spells jar, I'll put up there. All right, so we're going to put some alfalfa in here for abundance, right? I'm just going to put three scoops of each because for me, three is for a manifestation. I have three star anise. I don't know if you can see it, putting it in our jar. I have three cloves. So this is clove. <laughs> I'm going to put it in our jar. I have three three allspice, these little balls, <laughs> and we'll put it in our jar. I have a stick of cinnamon, put it in here. Yes, I have some chamomile, I'm gonna put some of that. I'm gonna, again, do three scoops of chamomile, I think. Yes, put that in there. I'm gonna do catnip because catnip actually like attracts, right? Yes, one two, and three. All right, perfect. And I'm just going to do a little bit of rosemary for protection. All right. I'm going to put in the extra. Perfect. And the crystals that really wanted to, um, the crystals that really wanted to play with us today is tiger's eye for luck. I'm going to put it in nicely. 
I have um, smoky quartz to really ground in our manifestation. It is also the manifestation zone, the wish stone. So smoky quartz. I was just going to do one crystal, but all of these wanted to come and play. Okay, so, so we have a lot of crystals. Uh, we have the clear quartz. Little, a little mini cute cluster. And this is to amplify all of the magic in here. And we have our pyrite, one of my favorite uh, manifestation things. And actually, we have this citrine tower that was just sitting on my desk and I really wanted to go in. So I'm going to put it in. See if I, I'm going to try not damage it because it's my good one. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's resting nicely. I am also going to put a hundred dollar bill in for us for money magic. Whoop. And I have chosen three tarot cards. So this is a uh, tarot of white cats. It's small enough. So it goes into the jar and I have the nine of cups. So our wish comes true. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in. I have the king of pentacles. So we are like money making bosses. Yes powerful manifestors. And I have the Ace of Cups because whenever I pull the Ace of Cups, it's like I my day is like super abundant. Something really good happens. I'm really happy, like, and new ideas, maybe new opportunities. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. Again, it's up to you on what cards you'd like to put in. All right. So we have our jar and I have a bay leaf here and I wrote Llewellyn Con Intentions. So whatever your intentions now, just focus on this bay leaf, infuse into this bay leaf, send it through your heart. Imagine like a green or golden smoke coming out from your heart, sending your intention to this bay leaf. Yes. And I put a little symbol on the back, dollar sign, or drop it in. Awesome. Is your intention in? Give me a done. It is done. Type in it is done if you have set in your intention or just say it out loud. All right. Now we're going to seal this magical jar. It seals. And I actually made, I made this herbal candle today. Uh, it's at, with all of the herbs that we just did. And oh, where's my lighter? I don't know where my lighter went. Oh, wait, hold on. I'll be back. Let me get my lighter. All right, lighter, lighter, lighter. So I'm just gonna light the bottom so that it sits on the jar. We can stick it on the jar. Perfect. So if you can see it, I lit the bottom of the wax. And now as I am lighting this, we are going to illuminate the path for your success to the intention that you have put in this magical spell jar today. So really, really, really focus on that. Imagine that as if it had already happened. Just, I'm gonna light it now, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, exhale. <sighs> Take another breath in and exhale. And I just want you to imagine yourself having already achieved that goal, already achieved the intention and the wish, and feel yourself as that person looking out from the, those, your eyes, right? What is happening around you? I want you to use your sight to see what's around you, make it as bright and as colorful as you desire, right? Now, I want you to hear what are the sounds going on around you? or maybe inside of your head. And I want you to make it louder or softer, whatever is perfect for you to make this visualization as real as possible. And now I want you to uh, feel, what are you feeling at this moment, having already accomplished that goal? Are you happy? Are you excited? Are you celebrating? Do you feel free? Do you feel abundant? What is that emotion that you're feeling? And I want you to amplify that emotion right now. I want you to amplify that emotion, make it as feel as good as you need to be to make that visualization real right now. Amplify it right now. Imagine this energy run throughout your entire body into every single one of your cells, expanding into your energetic field. 
Mm, yes, you have already accomplished the thing. It was so easy. It's already done. It is done. It is done. It is done. And so it is. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Now, when you're ready, come back into your body and open your eyes. All right. So like visualization is really as easy as that, just really imagining yourself as that person that has already done the things. And now, th so your spell is going to be going on. Well, I'll, I'll let you know. I'm probably going to be posting this on my Instagram throughout the time. This is a pretty skinny candle, so it'll go. Um, so I don't think it'll burn too long. But if you want to see how it ended, uh, just go to Pamela Unicorn on Instagram and I'll post it in my stories today. So the herb to stick to the candle, like Jen said, you can use um, anointing oil. So I used, um, so here's money magnet. Uh, anointing oil. Um, this is actually from Madame Pamita. You, her book, The Candle Magic Book, is also really good for candle magic. Um, but I actually, for this, I got this, uh, it's like, <laughs> it's called like a candle heater. And I heated up the, I heated up the wax and I rolled it on the candle. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Bruce, Bruce got it. Yes. So I'm just going to let this run and it's going to be amplifying our magic. And let me know if you have, we have a few minutes. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to answer any questions you have about money manifesting, about crystals, about crystal magic, right? And um, as you are putting your comments in, I just want to thank everybody for joining me today for some abundant crystal magic. I am so grateful for everyone who has supported me on my journey so far. Llewellyn for giving me this opportunity to speak today. Anna for hosting this together, for working, you know, really hard on Llewellyn Con. Yay. And a space to share my magic. Um, if you want to follow my adventures or have any questions about anything else, my manifestation program, how to manifest in general, crystal magic, you can DM me on Instagram. Um, there was a great question earlier. After the spell jar is done, do you surrender the crystals back into the earth or cleanse and reuse? I totally reuse my crystals. I, right now, I am using Florida water to clean all of my magical tools. You, I mix it. I just dump a little bit in, mix it with water, and get like a paper towel and wipe down everything. You can use some kind of cleansing spray. You can use smoke. You can use a smudge wand. Rosemary is really good. So whatever you want to use is great. I would probably dump the herbs um, in my yard, or you could just throw it away. I have chickens, so I'm, I'm going to make sure that I dump somewhere where they don't eat it because <laughs> I don't know. I don't want them to like get too amplified or anything. Um, what else is in there? So the the hundred dollars, I'm probably going to clean it with the Florida water, and I'm going to put it back in my abundance altar. So that's, that's actually my altar right there, you can see. So anything, I can put the crystals there too. You can keep the crystals with you because it has been charged with that energy. And when you are done working with it, right? When you're like, oh, I manifested my goal. You can go ahead and cleanse it under the full moon and reuse it again. And yeah, so um, water, I use Florida water. Yes, yes jar size. Uh, there, it doesn't, the jar size doesn't matter. Um, however, however big you can use even this, this size. I just couldn't find a smaller jar that I liked. Can we do too much or use too many things for jar spells? No, you can use as much as you want. Is filtered water okay to use? Um, filter water with the Florida water? Yeah, I mix it together. And so I just, I don't, ever soak my crystals in water because some crystals can melt. So I just get a, you know, paper towel and mix it and cleanse it. Um, if you just use regular water, unless you like charged it with Reiki energy or some, or light or maybe other cleansing modalities, then you can cleanse it. But if it's just water, I personally don't just do that because there's no clearing abilities in that. Maybe full moon water. If you charge the water in the full moon, you can use that to cleanse your, your magical tools and crystals. Yeah. So this will probably burn really well, the wax. 
um, and you can you can read the wax. I, I don't think we'll have really have anything um, here about the wax, but I will again post it in the Facebook group. <laughs> and if you want, you if you want, you know what? I actually talk about all of this inside of my book, Enchanted Crystal Magic, with Llewellyn Worldwide. So you can look in there, or again, you can totally DM me. Let me know any questions. Um, I also have four other projects coming up next. Uh, in the next few years. So I would love your support on those. And it's such an honor to have held this space for you. If your manifestation comes true, please tell me. I love confirmation. Um, and remember, you can manifest anything you desire because it is your destiny. Like, And since you are here today, I know that you will be quantum shifting in your life and getting amazing results. Yay. Thank you, everyone, so much for coming to Crystal Magic. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.